So I watched another film on Netflix, this one being produced by them, and unlike High Flying Bird, this one was bad. Velvet Buzzsaw centers around a group of people working in the LA art scene being tormented by a spirit after discovering a series of paintings by a recently deceased artist. The film's director Dan Gilroy had previously directed 2014's Nightcrawler, which I still have to see, and 2017's forgettable Roman J. Israel Esquire. And like that film, this one brings nothing new to the table and feels very uninspired and cliched. All the characters in the film are purposefully written to be stereotypical, pretentious archetypes associated with the art industry and are all very unlikable to show how their greed leads to their downfall. Which is fine, but the problem is none of them stand out individually as characters and all feel the same. Jake Gyllenhaal is the best actor in the movie, playing Morph, the bisexual art critic, but his performance isn't anything special and at times can be very over the top. Everyone else was just as okay and left no impact whatsoever. But Zoey Ashton was so bad in this movie, I was laughing more than I should've. Not only does she speak in monotone throughout the whole thing which makes her dialogue feel forced and contain no emotion, but there were moments in the film where her audio had to be dubbed over. Which is fine if a character is at a long distance away from the camera like in an extreme long shot, but not only is it a close up, but they didn't even hide the fact that she doesn't move her mouth. And it's just as awkward as it sounds and happens multiple times throughout. The VFX are overused and don't look finalised. When paint is dripping off canvases it seems to have a very stiff stop motion effect. And the reason why I don't think this was intentional is because in other shots the paint moves more fluently. The blood effects are all CGI and look terrible. There's a scene where a character gets their arm ripped off and what could have been done practically with how it's shot instead looks like crap. And when paintings come to life they have a very cheap look to them. Either the CGI looks really fake concerning larger movements, but even with simple effects like eyes glazing across the room, it doesn't look convincing. I can say that the production design is pretty good. The art displayed in the film is very well executed and does evoke an uneasy feeling out of the audience. And the sets feel genuine and well structured from both art galleries and studios. The opening of the film is fantastic as it actually has some effort put into it. And as someone who did study art in high school, there are some moments that do make fun of how people perceive modern art which I found kind of funny. The script, dialogue wise, is fine but it can be really inconsistent. Side plots are dropped faster than they are introduced, many of the deaths make no sense with how they are executed, and at times it feels as if a few scenes were missing as characters seem to refer to previous events that feel like they were supposed to be in the film. The cinematography was very standard but when it tried to introduce a style it came across as unneeded, forced and lazy. The soundtrack was abysmal with the most stock suspense horror music you can write, and the film's message about art commercialization doesn't really come across well because of the many issues the film has. So to end this off, Velvet Buzzsaw is not a very good movie and something I will not be rewatching anytime soon.